Hello guys, it's your boy Anomaly from Sweden! So I found this new article today, uh, it's pretty cool. So uh, there was just an announcement on uh, Steam, uh, an in-game item trading update. So basically what they're saying right now is they added trading, since then uh, a lot of websites, gambling websites have started. They're using Steam and the built-in features in Steam to, uh, to make this gambling possible. And Steam, you know, Valve say that they have no relationship with these sites. Valve's also saying they have no involvement with these sites. They're not, they don't have a relationship with these sites. They don't get any revenue from these sites. And also, here's an interesting part. And Steam does not have a system for turning in-game items into real currency. I'll get back to that in, in just a second. This part just basically explains the uh, API and account, the user account connection, and how, how the gambling websites work that, and saying that it's not allowed. Here it also says that it's not allowed. It says using the OpenID API and making the same web calls as Steam users to run a gambling business is not allowed by our API nor our user agreements. That's pretty important. They're also saying that they're going to start sending notices to these sites requesting them to cease operations through Steam and further pursue the matter as necessary. Which means that if, if the gambling website just says no, we want to keep going, they'll fucking sue their ass. Whoop him! Users should probably consider this information as they manage their in-game item inventory and trade activity. What this sentence means is basically cash the fuck out from all the gambling websites. So yeah, the part about them not having a system for turning in-game items into real-world currency and using their, uh, basically using bots, means that even sites like OP Skins might get hit, since they're also using bots, which according to uh, this, this statement is not allowed. And also since they're saying Steam does not have a system for turning in-game items into real-world currency, means that they're not involved with OP skins in any way, and they don't care for OP skins. One thing that came to my mind coincidentally is actually my sponsor Gameflip, and this sounds really sell off, but it's actually not. They uh, they have manual, you know, guy to guy trades and with no bots involved on some of their listings, on some of their auctions. And I guess sites might, may keep, you know, uh, selling skins for real cash like that, but I'm not sure if they're going to keep using bots, and I'm not even sure if Valve at all are going to target sites which, you know, provide a cash out service. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but they're saying that their specific target is gambling sites. So the first thing I want to say is that if you have any currency, if you have money on any gambling website, maybe even on OP skins or lounge or something like that, you should probably start uh, cashing out that shit. It's in your best interest to get all the items from the sites into your own inventory so you know that you have them. Uh, I've, I've read a lot on Reddit now. And there's a lot of people saying that the be that what the sites probably might do is actually just shut down their bots and just keep the items. And some say that already some gambling sites have have started uh, making withdrawing not possible anymore. It's actually very kind of Valve to give us this heads up because this means that before they start shutting all these sites down, everyone has a chance to uh, to you know claim what you've put into the sites. If you if you still have money or items on a site, you can get them back unless the site is fast and just shuts down. Um, this is actually very big and pretty important news. A lot of people know that gambling has been very cancerous for the CS scene and many people, many, many people that I know dislike gambling, but also people love gambling. So it's like, it's mixed, it's mixed feelings. If I'm going to be honest, if I was not banned for five weeks on my main account, I would definitely be cashing out all my skins right now. It's too big of a chance to just assume that the prices are going to stay. I guess the prices might go up in a while after, but at least for me, I, I don't want to lose money when trading. So I would just cash out now and then wait and see if the prices go back up, see maybe snipe a few skins when they're all low and just wait it out instead of having a big inventory and then, you know, crashing with, you know, the value. That That's that's not cool, man. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to use my code FUCKMYASSGRANDPA on CSGOSCAMPOT.RU Thank you guys. Ba -ba -ba -bum.